Here's Sam with a piece on that. And we're rolling. 233. Parker. Okay, can we get this, guys? Okay, quickly back, please. Okay, 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 and then just go out this way so we don't have to worry about the fragment of what we Well, Paul's latest film, which is to be called Harry and Son, was shot this spring in Fort Lauderdale. Like all his films in the last few years, it had to be scheduled so as not to conflict with the racing season. Paul's fascination with racing began when he did his own stunt driving in a picture he and Robert Wagner made about racing in 1969. It was called Winning, and much of it was shot here in Indianapolis. I never forgot the experience of being in a race car, even though I really didn't know a hell of a lot about it. I suppose as I started to get restless, uh, as an actor, uh, partially because I'd done it for so long and partially because the scripts kept getting worse and worse. He may even have sensed subconsciously that a fresh challenge was the best way to keep his creative juices flowing. He began racing when he was 47, a late start in a young man's sport. He made mistakes, but he never made the same one twice. Interestingly, things that he had learned in his acting career had a carryover into racing, a precise sense of timing and the ability not to lose his concentration no matter what was happening around him. This is a 200-mile-an-hour turbo Porsche, and in it, Paul took second at the hazardous, rain-soaked 24 hours of Le Mans in 1979. This was the moment Paul himself realized his apprenticeship in racing was over. After Le Mans, he had more confidence, and his career blossomed. One of his best drives came at the Road Atlanta track, when he won a Sports Car Club of America national championship in a Bob Sharp racing Datsun. By then, he was 54 and getting younger every year. I try to take as late an apex as I can. I try to pitch the car. I try everything. I am a very competitive person, and they try to get you to compete with other actors by uh, providing medals of one kind or another. But uh, acting can't be... Uh, there's no way to compare it with anything. I mean, you can't compare uh, someone who's performing in a comedy as, as, and someone who's performing in a drama. You can't say that one performance is better or worse. Uh, one performer may have started out with a tremendous script. The other performer may have started from scratch with absolutely nothing. You open your mouth, you're losing my case for me. Now listen to me. No, you listen to me. All I want on this trial was a... ...push me into court five days early. I lose my star witness, and I can't get a continuance, and I don't care. I'm going up there, I'm going to try it, I'm going to let the jury decide. You know, they told me about you. Said you're a hard ass, you're a defendant's judge. Well, I don't care. I said to hell with it, to hell with it! But you get up there at Oscar night and it's someone is supposed to have provided the first performance. Well, there are a lot of people that can take exception to that. Whereas uh, in racing, there's no way to take exception. The guy that crosses the line first is clearly uh, uh, the winner. You did a hell of a job, my friend. Right, super. I don't know what you're saying. You're six, I... As his teammate, I've seen for myself that what Paul most enjoys about racing is that it gives him a chance to test himself in new situations. Extraordinary thing is that Joanne is really through all of this. You know, when I was racing badly, she was supportive. When I was racing well, she was supportive. She keeps asking the eternal question: Well, next season, what? Do we go to France and Paris, or is it Summit Point and Pocono? And, and she's been just patient beyond all belief. Paul's desire to give something back to racing has resulted in his becoming a part owner of several racing teams. Often passing up established stars to bring new faces to the sport, Paul has provided rides for drivers such as K.K. Rosberg, Bobby Rahal, and Teo Fabi. All this has led to Gasoline Alley and a team for the biggest race of all. This time, the driver's selection was a name as famous in racing as Paul's is in the movies, Mario Andretti. For Paul Newman, his interest in racing has brought him full circle. 14 years after making winning, he is back.